This past year, we had some special guests in El Tololar. The Lundgren family, who I first knew through teaching piano to their son, took a year-long sabbatical from their lives and jobs in Boston and moved to El Tololar. We helped them build a house, and they spent nine months there learning Spanish, making friends, and getting to know the rhythm of life in El Tololar. And just like happened to me, they loved it. They loved the community and the people in it. They loved the landscape and the beauty of the place. They tolerated the scorpions. And they also formed a deep and powerful desire to be helpful there. When we say to help, it's not that El Tololar is a super unhappy place. On the contrary, there's a lot of joy and goodness there. It's just a deeply unequal place. Here, the question, what do you want to be when you grow up, is an exciting one, because with some work, a lot of possibilities are within reach. In El Tololar, that question is often not exciting, because you might work just as hard and still end up as a peanut farmer, because that's all there is. That's the situation we're working to help. And we're making progress. In June, we brought Marden, Adilsa, and Beto up for our wedding. All three of them have been involved with Tololamos for a long time. We helped Marden learn English, and now he's a tour guide, helped Adilsa build a drip system for her farm, and gave Beto the grant he needed to start a successful business. It's a long process, but we're in it for the long haul. We now have scholarships that help students attend secondary school, attend university, and study English full-time. We've awarded nearly 100 laptop computers to students, and we continue to plant thousands of trees each year to make Tololar a healthier and greener place. The Lundgrens, almost as soon as they got back, invited a student from Tololar to come live with them in Boston and study English for 12 weeks. We measure our success in the number of meaningful opportunities that we create for people, and I'm proud to report that that number grows all the time. If you're able to help support these projects, you'll be part of a network of people who've made real changes in this little community. It doesn't take much. Most of our donations have been small. Our goal this year is to get 100 monthly donors of any amount. Having monthly supporters lets us make better plans and extend scholarship promises that we know we'll be able to keep. Thank you so much for your time and your help. It really means a lot.